kilometers and away they go from the 1900 meter marker. Strategic Sprite on the inside, Nightlocks there, Canagal the Black Cap on the right hand side. They are followed by Delirious Nomad, Roman Carnivals near the rail. Between them is Groovy News and Sovereign Reigns the trailer about six lengths off the leader as Nightlock takes them along. Leads at half length, Canagal second and Strategic Sprite is at the rail third. Delirious Nomad in the orange is fourth in the red blinkers of Roman Carnival near the rail. They are followed by Groovy News and Sovereign Rain with the green cap trails. Seven or eight lengths off the leader. Nightlock by a length and a quarter. Canagal is second and Strategic Sprite is third. Delirious Nomads in the orange. Roman Carnival's near the rail. On the outside, Groovy News and Sovereign Rain continues to trail. That's racing about six or seven lengths off the leader as they move towards the 800 meter region. And it's Nightlock the leader, Canagal second. Strategic Sprite at the rail third and Delirious Nomad in the orange is fourth. Roman Carnival and Groovy News and Sovereign Rain's about seven lengths off the leader. Nightlock still the leader at the 600 meter marker. Canagal second, then Strategic Pride. They are followed by Delirious Nomad. Roman Carnival looks in trouble. Sovereign Rain. Top of the lane they come. Nightlock the leader and Canagal makes an early move. On the outside, Delirious Nomad and then Strategic Pride. That's Canagal and Delirious Nomad throws out the challenge. Down the inside, Strategic Pride. Canagal still goes. Delirious Nomad comes within a half length as they come to the last 200 meters. Canagal still the leader. Delirious Nomad tries to wear it down, but Canagal won't throw in the towel. He makes it four in a row. Delirious Nomad, Sovereign Rain and Strategic Pride. Roman Carnival a long way last. Four in a row for Canagal was always holding Delirious Nomad at bay. And you'll see Anthony actually takes it a little bit easy in the latter stages. And Canagal has now won four in a row. And he's now won four out of his last five. He's the toad favorite at 160. Overlap also earlier in the evening. He won four in a row. So Canagal, well done. Dean Canamea for Lama Scroll stud Anthony Del Pesh. Delirious Nomad second. A nice run from Sovereign Rain. The fourth position goes to Strategic Pride number six. Then Groovy News and Nightlock, something amiss with Roman Carnival, finished a long way last. So the top of the lane, the two horses on the right-hand side, Canagal. This is win number five from seven. And on the right, Delirious Nomad. But Canagal continues to hold Delirious Nomad at bay. And at the end of race seven, your favorite has obliged. Until the running of the eighth and last, back to the studio. Well, Kanagao has come through to close. Well, Kanagao has made it four on the bounce, uh, the three-year-old, and he seems to be an improving horse. Yeah, I had a bit of to do today, but he loves the poly track, and he seems to be going about his business the right way. Barbara, the assistant trainer for the Kanamea Yard, and well done. He, he just seems to be a horse that's uh, progressive, winning, and in a good place. Yes, no, he is, Dean. Um, after every one run, he just seems to be getting better and better. Um, I think there's a few more wins left in him. Uh, just well done to the owners, uh, to Dean, everyone involved. Well done. I'll well, give our best to Dean as well, Barbara. Thank you so much. Well done, Barbara. One, five, three, and six. That's the way they cross the line. We'll have to wait uh, for Jockey Del Pes. He's definitely coming back, but uh, Kanagao has come through to win a very good race here. Uh, Delirious No Man, another good result for uh, the Dennis Dry Yard back in second. Sovereign Rain was back in third, and rounding off that quartet was number six. But uh, double for Jockey Del Pesh. He made this his next best ride. And uh, talk us about uh, through the source. You know, he seems to be a strong three year old. Yeah, he's maturing into a very nice horse, you know. Um, the race didn't really map out for me, and I never got covered, and we were going slow, and he's a horse that wants a bit of a gallop, and I had to move a little bit early on him, but he 
he was always going to win the race. There was no chance that he was going to get past me. And he's, he's, a, he's a decent horse, you know. Obviously, we know, haven't taken on any, anything, but he's done everything we've thrown at him. To win four in, on the bounce with the handicapper pushing you up in the ratings as well, you know, it takes a good horse to do that, and he seems to be just that. Yeah, I think also Adini has been very clever. He's placed him very well. Well, uh, big day for you tomorrow, and uh, we wish you guys all the best. All the other jockeys that are traveling as well that are in the jockey room. And the Champions Day always promises a lot. Yeah, it's a great day. These we, we all look forward to these days. But, you know, tomorrow I haven't got big ammo, but, I, but I'm going out there. We're hoping we can pick up one of the big ones, but my chances are very small of winning a big one. Well done today, this evening. Two winners, well played. Thanks very much. And to my sponsor and to Dean, thanks so much. One, five, three and six. That's the way they cross the line. Race number seven.